Namaste everyone. So we had taken this assignment yesterday. Throughout the day, reflect on the feelings of relationship, harmony and coexistence. We can start with seeing the feeling of relationship for our close family members, our relatives and friends, our colleagues, people in our community, people of other communities in our country, people of different countries, ultimately with everyone. At present, where are you drawing your boundary for seeing your relatedness, family members, friends, relatives, colleagues, same community, same sect, same country, note down your observations. So we are practicing step six of exercise one in which we are trying to make out what is to be understood because in step five we could see that the basis of my feeling could either be right understanding or my assumption. But if I'm not comfortable within, I'm not happy within, then there must be some assumption in me and I need to ensure right understanding in me. And then the natural question that arose was, what is to be understood? So we try to see within what is naturally acceptable to me, either the feeling of relationship or opposition, harmony or disharmony, resistance or struggle. And then we could conclude that it is ultimately the feeling of relationship, harmony and coexistence that is naturally acceptable to us. One important thing that we mentioned was that concluding that this is acceptable to me naturally is not as important as seeing it naturally within. So I may conclude at the level of thought by some analysis, but I have to make out for myself in every situation, with every person, in every interaction, with every physiochemical entity, that it is ultimately the feeling of coexistence, harmony, relationship that is acceptable to me naturally and not otherwise. And this will take time. At the level of thought, we may conclude, but being able to see as a pure observer that this is it, it does take time. But once we are able to do this, then we can see that, yes, now I have to awaken my higher level activities of contemplation, understanding and realization. And I start working for it now. With that, we have taken this assignment. We are trying to see our natural acceptance for relationship in different ways, right? And gradually, we can be able to see this with every human being. If I try to see with every human being, then naturally, I'm able to see the relationship of self and self. Because at the level of body, we may be different. At the level of sex, we may be, or at the level of assumption, we may be different. But into physical facilities or the region to which we belong, we may be different. But ultimately, when I'm able to see the relationship of self and self, I can precisely see that the other is similar to me. So I have to observe this within. And for that only, we are trying to do it again and again within us, trying to examine, trying to verify. So we have taken this assignment. Based on the assignment, if you have any queries, you can raise your hands. So what we can do to begin with, we can take the reflections and questions pertaining to the assignment given yesterday. And then we can have every other kind of sharing or reflection. Or question. Ji, Gita ji. Bhaiya, my question is based on right understanding. Shall I put it or afterwards shall I put it, Bhaiya? Okay. You can put it now because no other hand is raised. So right understanding means, is is it at the thought level, Bhaiya? Feeling means, right feeling means, okay, it is at the feeling level. When we say right understanding, is it at the thought level, Bhaiya? No, right understanding is not at the level of thought. At the hmm. level of thought, I only have some analysis, some comparison. Uh some logical statement. This is happening at the level of thought. Right understanding means okay. at the level of block B1. Where we are able to see the reality. Yes. Okay. So when, generally speaking, we do say that, yes, yes, I have understood what you are trying to say. But that is something that we are doing at the level of thought. Here, when we mm. say right understanding, and to be able to distinguish between understanding and right understanding, and that's why we put uh, right here, so that we are able to focus on the knowing part. It's not only that, I'm concluding something with some analysis. So knowing mm. essentially, or if you look at the Hindi word, it is Gyan. So more precisely, if you see in Hindi, we place mm. it as Gyan. So generally, we that say that... Oh, okay. Generally, we say that, yes, ye baat samaj mein aagai, hai na? and that we can see at the level of thought also. Ki baat samaj mein aagai. Mm. But when we say that my Gyan mein aagaya, hai na? Mujhe isa gyan mm. ho gaya. So that essentially means that I'm able to contemplate I'm able to understand and realize the reality. Mm -hmm. So, right understanding essentially means Gyan. Though, to be able to communicate in easy terms, we say Samaj or Sahi Samaj. But essentially, mm. so that we do not confuse it with thought, we can call it as Gyan. What would be the right word for it in English, Bhaiya? We are using the word right understanding only. 
because if you uh-huh. use the word knowledge also so knowledge also may be a collection of information but mm-hmm. the word is important the essence has to be clear so when we are saying right understanding it is indicating the awakening of the higher level activities contemplation understanding mm. okay and- okay bye uh, bye yeah, this question arises because usually i will get up as soon as the alarm goes up sometimes i will think that let me sleep for 5 minutes 10 minutes like that then i will be remembered of all the other activities like morning session walking my observation and all then i will get up had it been right understanding what would be the case bhaiya yeah? simple act of getting up in the morning so with right understanding i am always aware that this material body is my instrument with that i will make whatever program is required so if rest is not enough i can sleep more or i can let's say let the body sleep more if the rest is taken care of then i will ask the body to just get up here also if you have some program mm. to make with the body like listening to some session okay or taking care of health i'll take all those decisions at the level of right mm-hmm. understanding you able to see very clearly every moment without any doubt you know that this body is not me it is with me mm-hmm. and it is my instrument and i'm taking mm-hmm. care of it and i'm utilizing it for participation in the larger order because the right understanding is there so no, no longer i need the body to ensure right understanding in me mm-hmm. it is there in me mm-hmm. i'm mm-hmm. trying to authenticate my right understanding in my living by participating in the larger order so it won't be at the thought level uh, naturally i'll get up whether i get up or not it is a program that i have to make with the body so i may also feel that yes i have not given enough stress to the body okay maybe mm-hmm. some people had come to see me they had some urgent issue to discuss and the discussion went on till 2 am okay then i'll let the mm-hmm. body take rest otherwise way otherwise i have to get up regularly no see we have to give some extra thought to maintain the routine of the body because mm, we are mm. trying to derive happiness out of body so if you look at your assumption it may be the case that if i sleep more i will be happier yeah. that sensation part i am able to see by a little more sensation of be in the bed yeah so somehow we are trying to derive happiness out of sensation now with right understanding the reverse is there i am happy within i am able to see mm. that this body is my instrument mm, and now mm. i am right to like in the body no longer i'm trying to derive mm-hmm. happiness out of the body presently i am not clear whether it is me or the body at the level of mm-hmm. thought it might be okay uh, uh. and that is not in continuity when we are in a uh-huh. morning session we are reminded of all these things okay i am there body yes, is yes. there body is separate mm-hmm. from me right mm-hmm. but in our day to day life we seldom might be remembering it might be completely unaware of this my body and you know, i body what all this is there i'm just caught up in my work unaware mm-hmm. of the basic realities again when mm. the morning comes i become aware mm. this could also be the case right so that's why i have to make a separate program i have to think separately for my participation with every unit whether it is my body or the other human being or the rest of nature otherwise with awakening of higher level activities my thoughts are always guided they are in a flow mm. i am no longer having any contradiction within okay so i'll take care of my body and as per mm. the need if more sleep is required i provide sleep to the body if not then i let the body wake up and do some work even if the morning session is not there right maybe since i did not have enough work yesterday or last evening so i slept at 8 o'clock so i woke up at 3 o'clock now from you know 3 o'clock i can start working i can mm-hmm. start utilizing my body presently we are under pressure of the external things and we make our program out of this pressure our own mm. program is not decided many times so if there is no morning session i'll feel like sleeping the whole morning and even the whole day for example if there is mm. morning mm. session then i'll plan it otherwise right see. so i have to define my own program so mm. at the basic mm. see this program is at the level of imagination the understanding is there at the level of block b1 so mm. this understanding of the concept entity different from the material entity is there in block b1 and rest follows if i am not the body right then i will never feel like being the body being temporary if i am able to see the body as an instrument i will naturally take care of the body for nurturing protecting and right utilizing it ji ji bhai okay right. bhai i got it thank you so much bhai assembly srinivas ji namaste bhaiya namaste to all my co explorers uh, regarding assignment is concerned uh, intention my intention is to make relationship and be in harmony with uh, 
each and every uh, unit uh, and uh, myself always be normal but while dealing practically with the people or things because everyone has his own competency level and to understand others we need to know some background details and everything while keep in mind and we are trying to help others to uh, improve their competency level if we are more in competency than others are if we are less in competency than others we want to take help from other so in this case we need to uh, go into the details of uh, other people uh, what they are and uh, what are their uh, sound starts and uh, all those details uh, while thinking about all these uh, definitely there will be a some difference uh, means uh, in coming to relationship we need we have some difference in the feelings of relationship without that uh, uh, this process uh, I, i feel in my myself uh, in different uh, cases so that relationship with uh, different uh, people we will have different way of uh, we cannot make equally feeling of uh, relationship with all the people we interact uh, day to day so yeah, i practically it is a little bit uh, i think uh, uh, different than what we uh, what is our intent am i uh, correct by uh, understanding my question could not become very clear so you are saying that there is a difference of level of competence yes level of competence based on that we want to suppose our competence is uh, higher level than others then we want to help others then we need to go to the details of the people who are uh, what they are and uh, what is their uh, profession or anything uh, uh, relevant to them so we can uh, help them so uh, by uh, thinking about all such details uh, there will be uh, some difference in the relationship we want to have uh, uh, good feelings of relationship in some cases some with some people so what i observe myself uh, the, the while thinking about while uh, understanding about those details of the people to uh, help them or uh, to take help from them so different uh, uh, coming to the relationship there will be, uh, there is a different feeling for people to people i have so that is uh, correct or the way what the correct way i approach i need to have feelings or what sort of feelings i need to have or what sort of understanding i need to have so the feelings are definite trust respect affection this feeling i need to have so i can have a feeling of trust for everyone feeling of respect for everyone not depending upon my responsibilities and i will have affection and then with i with that feeling i will have you know i will be taking care of my relative i will be taking care of the self of the relative guiding the self of the relative so this kind of feeling would be there so i am able to complement every other human being with a feeling of relationship so if it is the case that i feel related to some and not i do not feel related to others then that is some problem i have feeling of relationship with each and every one but if i deal with my son if i deal with my student if i deal with my parents if i deal with my spouse the way in my mind uh, the relationship is concerned uh, i feel uh, differently than uh, other each other so that yeah, is so uh, where is the difference that you have to make out like at the level of fulfillment it can be different the yes, responsibility that i have for different people may be different yes but i can be assured the intention of everyone i can feel like complimenting everyone that is there so you will feel like complimenting your spouse your child your neighbor your father mother <coughs> everyone that feeling of complimentarity will be there but you have to take care of the child in one manner he is studying so he have to take care of the child in one manner once the child gets married you have to take care in some other manner Okay. isn't it so that fulfillment part will be varying from time to time person to person but the ever flowing would feeling would be of relationship in me yeah because of that uh, variation uh, my harmony level is uh, different what i feel what i no if the harmony is getting disturbed if you are not feeling harmony within then this is lack of competence in you so that's what i'm saying if i have the feeling of trust i have the feeling of respect with all so i'll have harmony with this feeling in me with that i'll make out the program for the other is it possible to have competency in all levels of uh, 
relationship is it possible to have enough competence improve competency level uh, while uh, uh, dealing with all aspects of all people dealing with all aspects of all people improved level of competence what does it mean uh, that, that only i am asking because uh, my harmony uh, in me the harmony uh, self of my um, self is uh, uh not uh, my feelings are not in harmony while dealing with some people while dealing with some people i feel in harmony uh, yeah that is because of lack of understanding in you ha uh, that's why i am asking is it possible to have a uh, right understanding in all aspects yes yes why not that's what we are working for so i can have right understanding in completeness i can have right understanding in completeness and i do not depend on anybody else for my happiness i yes. do not try to depend on the favorable feeling of others for my happiness no the feelings are stated in me with that i am ever happy always happy so for- then i share my feelings so you'll see that you need or you may need you know, to work a lot upon yeah. yourself to develop the right understanding that will take time we have just entered into this process we have just started the journey being able to contemplate on the right feelings will take time but uh, since uh, from the almost uh, seventh batch onwards even then uh, if i compare uh, time to time so the way uh, the some improvement is there but uh, i feel it is a slow improvement in my understanding yes so nice so continue with the process it may take time see we all have some starting point yes. the baggage of preconditioning that we have the self exploration that we have made so far that is our starting point yes. and the final point is the same for all completeness of right understanding but yes, depending yes. on our starting point and depending on the effort that we are putting in we gradually develop yes will take time yes completeness of right understanding is not something like a project that i can accomplish in 5 or 10 years <laughs> it may take years yes maybe a lifelong process yes yes even beyond <laughs> continuous in yes. of the self one body to other body also yeah yeah even thank beyond thank thank you very much nice amresh patil ji namaste bhai namaste namaste to everyone there uh, yesterday's uh, discussion bhai i was just able to see that uh, still that blaming uh, whenever we are there with a discussion we always try to stand outside and tell that i am special that is what is there and in that interaction bhai it is the reaction only is coming outside i am able to see that and uh, even though i tell that uh, that understanding is there but uh, understanding is not there uh, seeing the other role uh, how i can help the other when i was discussing even with vice principal regarding the involvement of the faculty with the teaching process and all so i was just asking madam that how are you trying to help them so she just told that i go into the class and uh, start the class myself and then they come late and they are ha- they are doing it very casually and all that so i said okay, madam can, can we bring uh, i was just trying to help her that what is this madam is this the reaction or is this a response so even i was able to connect myself that most of the discussion that i am trying to do is i am saying that okay i had i am there trying to help the other but still it is reaction only by what i was able to see because when i am trying to make out their mistake uh, it is it, it, the other will never accept that i was able to see this if i am trying to bring their attention towards what that they have to do about is that they wanted to do it like this so then i think uh, the that could be in the, in the form of response so this small things that are happening around we we never the observation of myself uh, I, that is within is trying to help here yeah, that's what i was able to see this this was always there with me but i was never ever looking into so the way we say it is a response response is one which is trying to be in their state and understand their situation and trying to help them out that is what is a response now i am able to see bhaiya this uh, but all these days as uh, just now bhaiya was asking about i think there what it is it is uh, uh, the way he told about uh, his involvement with this content uh, understanding i am also there uh, as good is in line with him only but the part of uh, putting forth with everything with understanding whatever i was asking about i think looking within is what is the first step is what is most crucial if i am able to observe within i think that understanding helps in as helps first so then only i can help the other that is what i was able to see so i just wanted to put for that nice bhaiya if you look at it closely we'll see that response is a big thing yeah so yeah. generally when you say we are responding 
yeah. we are just cutting down our reactions. Yes, so, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. And you will also observe that unless I am able to contemplate on the right feeling, yeah. okay, we are reacting okay. somehow or the other because okay. our feeling is based on the feeling of the other, oh, yeah. Yeah. So behavior of the other. So yes. most of the time we are reacting only. Oh yeah, yes. Yes, right. favorably. Yeah. Because the feeling, the right feeling is not stated within. And response essentially, if you see, is to be responsible to the other to develop the right understanding in the other. It is not only you know doing some activity. Yeah. So. If you look at the response in the complete sense, then it is being responsible to the other to develop the understanding in the other. So, response essentially is my commitment to ensure the completeness of right understanding in the other. That is a bigger task, I believe. <laughs> what, what I was able to see in the afternoon also, uh, when I made a program of self home visit to some sites, you know, the, and family was disturbed. So, I was uh, help, I was not trying to help the other. So, what is there was, even I was got disturbed because someone is not coming in line with my thought process, then uh, once again, uh, we slip from that observation, by, uh, from the feeling part, not looking into what is there. Within. So I was able to see all this happening within. Nice, Bhaiya. Good observation. Thank you. Ji. Nice. Very nice. Ji. Lipi Goswami Ji. Namaste, Bhaiya. Namaste, Namaste to all. Yes. So, uh, Bhaiya, whenever we tell that uh, feeling of trust and feeling of relationship, we should have to... Um, uh, this feeling must be towards everyone, feeling of trust, because it is the foundation uh, value of, in case of relationship. Now, whenever we go out of our home, we always have to lock the door in order that our home is safe. In that case, that means we are doing that. Why? Because we do not trust the people around us. There may, may be something, um, um, there, this, may, there may be something. The, what to say, thieves and all, they can come. So in order to save our uh, home from that, we have to do this. Now, if we say in uh, terms of trust, uh, trust, and we do not have trust, but whenever uh, we uh, feel after UHV, so can we uh, say that that we have trust on that on other person, but the thing is that uh, we must have certain incompetence um, within us or with that particular person. Yeah. First of all, it's not like must, that you must have trust for all. No. If trust is there, it will naturally be for everyone. This is one thing to note. Okay. So it's not that some kind of compulsion that I must trust all. No. Once I have the feeling of trust established within me, then it will naturally be for every self. Second thing is that with feeling of trust also, I lock my door because I can see that intention of every human being is pure. But there are people and lots of people who do not have feeling of prosperity, who do not have feeling of relationship. So they lack the competence. So if I look, uh, if I just leave my house without locking the door. So the things may be stolen. That is quite possible. I lock the door still with a feeling of trust, with a feeling of right evaluation of the other. I lock the door, but I will not feel irritated, angry if something untoward happens. So I can see that, yes, people are not having the feeling of prosperity. They are trying to get the physical facility without labor, and they also do not you know, understand the need for physical facility. They are not able to see the limit of it. So one may just enter into my house and steal things. It's quite possible. So I lock my door. For example, you know, I have a mobile. Right. Now, I can see that if I leave my mobile here and there, then somebody may steal it. So I'll always keep track of it with the same feeling of trust that I can see that, yes. But in my house, I can leave my mobile anywhere mm -hmm. because I can see a different level of competence here. Since these people in my house Anna, are feeling related to me, so nobody will be stealing my mobile in my house. But I leave the mobile on a railway platform, somebody may steal it. The intention of the people in my house is also pure. Those who are there on the railway station is also pure. But the feeling of affection is there in my house and we all feel responsible towards the fulfilling the needs of the body together. So we have different level of interaction here, different level of fulfillment here. If somebody on the railway track, railway station, I have a different level of fulfillment. Mm -hmm. So intention and competence are two different things. I can very much see the intention being pure in every human being. Mm -hmm. But I can also see the difference of competence. So now as Swam Prabhaji was sharing no, in the workshop that took place in Odisha, so, like earlier on the first day, when anybody was leaving the hall, they were carrying their bags, right, and their belongings. But on the third day, you know, they all left it in the hall itself and then mm. went for tea. 
now some assurance has come about the competence of the other mm -hmm. so we all are you know, in this process and we are all doing something good for the society something good for us so even though people do not see the intention of the other as being pure it's not that trust has got ensured but we have come to assume that yes these people are not going to steal the objects in my bag or they are not going to disturb me so that is there so at the level of imagination also with the assumption that we have without having the feeling of trust we'll have one kind of dependability on the other that is quite there and that mm -hmm. is there contemplation of the feeling of trust will take time but we feel somebody being dependable somebody not being dependable Mm -hmm. that is the on our prior experience of the interactions mm -hmm. and bhaiya whenever we say that we have to feel um, harmony within ourselves at all time now say uh, uh, harmony is also related with the peace of mind no bhaiya yes peace if i have harmony within it yes. will reflect the peace of mind yes yes and at that time say i am i am in full harmonious state but say um, something happen outside and somebody are quarreling so um, but that particular incident um, should not affect our harmony within ourselves yes, yeah but that does that does why is that so because you are not in a state of full harmony within so oh. it so happens no that we sometimes assume harmony to be favorable situation if there is some favorable situation around me Okay, so I'm relaxed. Mm -hmm. I no longer need to pay extra attention to something. Mm -hmm. Okay, but if I have to pay extra attention, we feel that we are not in harmony. But ultimately, it is the state of favorableness around me, and I am trying to again derive happiness from the favorable situation outside. Now, when that situation changes, it is no longer favorable to me. I become disturbed. So presently, we treat harmony as favorableness, mm -hmm. while harmony is related to my. understanding in block b1 if you look mm -hmm. at it ultimately harmony is ensured through development of the self by awakening to the higher level activities okay okay bhaiya nice to be swam prabha ji uh, bhaiya namaste namaste sabhi ko uh, so actually um, uh, pertaining to particularly this exercise so i was just uh, you know being observant and uh, i regularly uh, went through these uh, steps so i was seeing that when we are uh, trying to exist uh, i mean um, you know uh, establish relationship uh, with this, uh, the co in the entire uh, uh, you know in with the coexistence of other units so uh, that was i think i felt that yes uh, when i feed the uh, you know uh, sp uh, sparrows those uh, crows Uh, so that gives me some sort of a pleasure and as well as i feel that that i'm contributing to some extent uh, uh, as in my own little way uh, to uh, these uh, kind of birds and uh, of course watering the plants etc so uh, the next thing uh, bhaiya i could see uh, like you know uh, as you know that i belong to orissa and we had a local festival yesterday that was of uh, jagannath ji that uh, we call it as nana purnima that uh, gallons of water are poured and so the ritual goes anyways so um, that happens in my village as well because uh, we have a temple and the same ritual at puri whatever it happens it happens there so uh, i am uh, very much inclined to go there i was always uh, like you know i always had a feeling that i should go there but uh, over the years i used to feel maybe uh, like uh, what they will think uh, or uh, you know maybe my relatives uh, like as i am working so uh, most of the there are few functions i miss also because i am not able to go on working this so i said i don't go and they'll feel that she is highly spiritual so she has come so many apprehensions preconditions uh, that went on assumptions and all but then uh, yesterday it was the day and i went there so uh, not only it was a divine experience but i could see that everyone was so uh, happy uh, and i was also so happy to see them uh, and uh, i really had a very good uh, you know um, harmonious uh, uh, you know uh, atmosphere there so which gave me so much of uh, solace that and i was out of my this preconditioning that this is not the way how it is and uh, most importantly another uh, like i should say uh, you know a uh, few of my friends from abroad they have uh, they had organized a uh, function of rabindranath tagore sangeet so and it was all in bengali and they are purely europeans uh, so they posted those pictures and uh, they were they wrote their uh, opinion so i was just thinking 
that all of us are so closely associated and just uh, we create these boundaries for ourselves. Uh, so, and, uh, uh, so these all observations I went on having and in the later evening I had a talk, um, online talk for the University of Florida. So uh, there also I could see the questions that we, uh, our students make regarding, um, you know, uh, displeasure, their discontentment, uh, whatever. And so the same things were also uh, from them. So I said that that means all of us are in a way coexisting and as well as relationship also that we are trying to build within ourselves is already there. So we have nothing to do much about it, only to establish harmony and understand that I uh, myself belongs to the other. This is one. But yeah, and there is one question. I'm sorry if I'm being too long. Uh, there is a question. Actually, yesterday, one of my close associates, uh, she has said that she has got a promotion, but she has to go from Bhubanesha to some other place. And her daughter is in 12th standard. So she said she was happy. I said that, yes, that's very good that you got. But then you see your daughter is in 12th standard and once you are going and uh, her husband is also out of uh, town. So I said, both of you are out of town. How can you, uh, you know, help your daughter out? And ultimately, this is a very crucial stage. So um, like uh, she said that every time I have to sacrifice because of this, I said, it's not about sacrificing, but you have to just think about it. Uh, just think and choice is yours. But I'm also happy that you got an offer and everything is good. Don't think it otherwise. But then ultimately, I ended up in some sort of a disharmony only. So I'm wondering from yesterday, that did I do right or uh, should I uh, keep quiet? I shouldn't have told anything. Uh, so that is also some way hunting me. But yeah. What do you think? What do you suggest? It may be the case that while you were discussing with her, you were prescribing to her. In place of prescribing, you could have let her explore. That if you get this promotion and uh, move to some other city, then will you be able to take care of your child? What do you think? You know, what is the need of the child at the moment? And what is the need of the facility at home? So all those things we can look into. So you can just open up some questions for somebody to explore and let the other explore in place of yeah. prescribing to the other. People feel hurt when we start deciding for the other. Uh, right, right. Uh, I tried, uh, but I thought yes, it went like that only. Prescription sort of. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hurting. Yes, yes. Thank you, Bhaiya. Thank you so much. Namaste. Namaste. There are two more hands raised. I'll take up the question. Yeah. Can we go to the content part? We had taken this example yesterday. For example, we can see that feeling of relationship is naturally acceptable to me. If I have a feeling of opposition for someone, even for a moment, it is not acceptable to me naturally. And I'm in a state of unhappiness within at that moment. Similarly, we can see that what is naturally acceptable to me is the feeling of coexistence. If I have a feeling of struggle, even for a moment, it is not naturally acceptable to me and I am in a state of unhappiness within. We can contrast this with what we are teaching to our children in the name of natural evolution, like survive, struggle for survival, survival of the fittest. G. Can we go to the next slide here? So this is the assignment for step six. Check. Am I having the feeling of relationship for every other person at all times? Ask yourself, if I have a feeling of relationship for others, what sort of thoughts I will be having about others? What will be my behavior with others. Contemplate on the feeling of relationship for all within yourself. Check, am I having the feeling of harmony within me at every moment? Ask yourself, if I have the feeling of harmony within, will I have an acceptance for things outside or will I be disturbed when things outside don't happen my way? For example, when the weather is not my liking. Reflect on the feeling of harmony within yourself. So we have been discussing this assignment, let's say in bits and pieces but we can sum it up all, but yes. Ultimately, I have to contemplate on right feeling, relationship. I have to understand the harmony, and I have to see the resistance at the level of realization. So this is something which is necessary to ensure happiness in continuity. So, Shanti. Ji, bhaiya, namaste sabhi ko. Bhaiya, am I audible, bhaiya, clearly? Ji, audible. Ji, ji, ji. But yeah, with respect to this assignment yesterday, really, I could uh, see some shift in me. I will uh, describe within uh, one or two minutes. So while yeah, well, in morning, uh, taking 10.30, my food as usual, and uh, spouse was uh, uh, serving. So, and she was uh, asking me to go somewhere along with her. 
So she was serving me in the right manner, but uh, she forgotten to give me the lemon last part of my food as usual. If I would have been earlier, definitely there was irritation earlier. Uh, I am finding this shift. But I thought that no problem, she is in hurry and I got up and opened the fridge and took the lemon. By that time she came and you see, I am very happy here. She asked me, oh, sorry, 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 I have forgotten this. Uh, you take, you complete your food, I will cut it into two pieces and she do it. So, yeah, this is really a very nice shift for me to see with my, if I would have been earlier not gone through these exercises, I would have shouted, hey, what, you, you don't know, it's a small thing and I have told you a number of times to give me this. But, Bhaiya, yesterday really, I realized and my whole day was very nice and that's why I decided uh, this sharing and I have noted it down. Thank you, Bhaiya. Thanks a lot. It happens with my own understanding. If I am improved, automatically other is improved that I can see in my home with my closest relations. Ji, Ji, Bhaiya. Ji, Namaste, Sabi. I start with contemplation, uh, with having to have relation to see the relationship with all. And uh, before steps, I I tend to forget other steps. Then in the after con contemplation, I find my relationship with my body, my family, my neighbor my community and my state, my nation and earth and move on next, next. And I find that I have a definite relationship with all of them. And when I try to identify myself there, when I am at the level of the Milky Way or beyond that, then I find that I have no identification. And it gives me pleasure. I find that all the units, all everything is in harmony and I feel pleasure. So uh, two things, one whether to forget after contemplation all the previous steps, is it right or not? And then if I am going thought-wise to the, the other entities, celestial bodies and all, and uh, if, the, if it is that at, at the level of thought only, so how I can bring it to the feeling these are two questions thank you yeah so to the first part i'll say that if you are able to see the relationship with every entity in the nature then try to continue with it so maybe you are directly <laughs> working at the level of step seven so continue with it now when you go to continue then we'll see some disturbance hmm. okay if the disturbance is there then you can go to step one and again start this exercise so going through uh -huh. these exercises and listening to the you know, sessions and all those things so gradually we are able to conclude naturally in us that yes i need to ensure right understanding and we are also trying to ensure it right uh -huh. but it's not that it is ensured we are trying to ensure so that's why whenever some disturbance is there outside i get disturbed within also yes suppose okay. if i go was... to the... yes yes continue sir Please, please tell me. No, suppose uh, in sometimes when I am uh, disturbed with some other thought, then should I go with that thought only or I have to go to the previous thought and uh, uh, so complete this the steps? Part. Oh, yes, I will go, but stay, what about the steps? Step one comes first. Achha, achha. Now, with the first thought or the second thought? Both. Achha, both. How can I do in both the things at a time? By asking the purpose, looking into the purpose. Achha. No, it's not that clear to me. By looking into the purpose, some thought is there in you. Hmm. So how do I feel? What feeling is driving this thought? What do I want? You can ask yourself. Yes, yes that I am doing the first one, all my first thought also. And I proceed with the steps. Then in yes. between, some, some another thought comes. So what to do? Whether I have to go... With the second thought or I will come back to the first thought? That's my question. See, thoughts will be coming one after another. So you are not going yeah. to continue with a single thought also if anytime. Right, okay? right. Mm. Because it yes. is a dynamic process, no? So analysis mm. will continue. So mm -hmm. thoughts will always be changing. Mm -hmm. Because that analysis goes further and deeper. So you get to see fresh things, fresh ideas, fresh people, you know, all those things. So that mm -hmm. thought will in any way keep on changing. But if you look yes. at the feeling, it can continue. Achha. So you may have a feeling of trust every moment. 
with that you are analyzing different things on different situation at different moments that is fine yeah now presently even if the right feeling is not established within okay but still you see that feelings continue for a longer time because and they are at the basis of thought so for example you develop some opposition for somebody so you have this feeling of opposition in you for someone and then you get a jumble of thoughts here and i'll see to him let me see what he does next if he crosses this limit i'll do this if he does not cross this limit then i'll let it go you are having multiple thoughts at the core is the yeah. feeling of opposition and at the core of opposition is the doubt on intention so if i am able to penetrate that deep inside me that beyond the thought i can see my feeling <coughs> beyond the feeling i can see my assumption how i am doubting the intention of the other then i can really yeah. work to transform my feeling yeah. else i will just keep on analyzing my thought so what we are saying that whatever i do at the level of thought will not carry much value for me yes it is required it's not that thoughts are of no use no it is required to make a program but with what yeah. feeling i have to make a program is going to be decided at the level of desire it will not happen at the level of thought mm-hmm. so if i have feeling a relationship i will try to fulfill the relationship you know in by all ways possible but yeah. if i miss out the feeling of relationship i will try to oppose the other again by all ways possible mm. so yes, the yes. issue is ensuring the feeling of relationship because that is going to ensure happiness in me mm-hmm. so if okay. i am only able to see the thought i will try to look into the feeling once i am able to see the feeling i will try to look at the assumption driving that feeling and if i am able to see the assumption then i will try to see the alternative what is naturally acceptable to me yeah yeah you mean to say that the first thought i need not go there i with the second thought onwards i will go have the feeling and proceed up to you up to you i can dig out all my sanskars so i can look into all the thoughts that happened earlier also so for example i wake up in the morning i look up i look at myself you know and i try to recollect all the thoughts that i had yesterday the major chunks and i can see the feeling so for example i went to the office and somebody complained about me to the boss right yeah and it started a kind of jumble of thought in me this person yeah. is always after me this is not a such a big mistake i know that he must have exaggerated it in front of my boss and those things might have happened now within you you have some fear because the complaint has reached to the boss and with that fear you have some anxiety you have some insecurity about your job right so you can just recollect that yes this all happened yesterday later i came to learn that this was a fake news nobody had complained against me and you got suddenly relaxed now what is happening here so i can go back i can go back and look into my sanskars in fact when i am there with myself and i am not carrying out any new program then i'll try to go back and look into all my you know assumptions into my past and i'll try to set it right yes this was the mistake there so yeah. you went to see someone and you know you find one person coming in a very you know posh car and looking at the car you got influenced right and then you simply got lost in the conversation now when you wake up in the morning you can recollect that yes when i looked at that car yesterday it influenced me what influenced me why did i get attracted to that car somebody told me that he had invested his stock in particular you know company and he has gained so much of profit in the past two months right and that instigated you though it again got somewhat you know subdued because of some other conversation now you can recollect it that what motivated me why did i get influenced by that thought yesterday so i can always go over the past recollect and do all this investigating within me this will be enriching for me because the same situation i may not go through in near future but if i am been through that situation in the past and i got disturbed i can recollect it and i can set it right i yeah, can yeah. Anna, evaluate my feeling and transform my feeling yes sir i'll see nice further further, <coughs> further and i'll wait ji thank you nice day bhai i think we can just open up step 7 and we can discuss it tomorrow so we could see that what is naturally acceptable to me is the feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence and for that i need to awaken the higher level activities of contemplation understanding and realization in step 6a we are able to see that it is the feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence which is naturally acceptable to me and not otherwise therefore in step 7a what we want to do is to ensure that at this moment 
I have the feeling of relationship and not the feeling of position. So in step seven, we are trying to ensure it. Every step, you'll see, uh, gives some shift inside us. So here, I'm trying to ensure. Now, ensuring again, in completeness, in continuity, is a big task, right? So I start this process within. Let me ensure this right feeling in me. If I'm not able to ensure, I'll go back to step one. Again, carry out all those steps. I will make a flow chart, no? as you make a flow chart in a similar way. I'll make a flow chart for myself. Right? If the right feeling is not ensured, I'll go back, start from step one. Okay. Ask myself, what is naturally acceptable to me? Am I comfortable within? Who is deciding the feeling? What is the basis of this feeling? What is naturally acceptable to me? If I'm able to see this, am I able to ensure it? So I'll try to ensure it. If not ensured, again, I'll go back. Where am I getting wrong? So in step 7a, we are saying that I need to ensure it at this moment. So the feeling of relationship and not the feeling of opposition. The feeling of harmony and not the feeling of disharmony. The feeling of coexistence and not the feeling of struggle. So I have to ensure that at this moment, I have this inside me. If I can ensure at this moment, then I can be in a state of harmony, happiness within at this moment. Similarly, if I can ensure this every moment, then I can be in a state of harmony, happiness within every moment. I can be in a state of continuous happiness. So we'll discuss this tomorrow about ensuring the right feeling. So we conclude the English session now. So we'll be thank you all.